Mazda CX-90 is a fresh three-row crossover from the brand. It's a bit like CX-9 it's replacing, which was the Mazda's flagship. However, the CX-90 is a bit larger with a longer distance between the front and rear wheels. This extra space is good for passengers and storing things. The CX-90 was known for having a fancier interior than other similar cars, and the CX-90 continues that trend by offering a luxury-like experience that is comparable to entry-level SUVs. It can speed up quickly and smoothly up to the powerful turbocharged engine. The CX-90 always has power going all the way to its wheels and there is always a version that can drive on electricity alone for about 26 miles. The CX-90 isn't just a simple update of the old CX-9. It is completely a new model with a new base, a new strong six-cylinder engine and a kind of system that helps save fuel. There is also a version that uses both gas and electricity to run. The CX-90 can travel quickly and smoothly, thanks to its special turbocharged engine. No matter where you are driving, all of the wheels are powered which can help you to drive smoothly and steadily on the road. There is also a version of CX-90 that can run only on electricity for the distance of, of about 26 miles which is a great for short trips. Mazda cars are known for being fun to drive, and CX-90 is no different. Despite being over 200 inch long, it feels like a smaller car when you drive in. The steering is easy to control and responsive, however it is a bigger car and having a big 21 inch wheels, you might feel bumps more when you are driving over the rough roads. Inside the CX-90, the ride quality is pretty good. Although the version with 21-inch wheels might feel a little stiff on the bumpy street roads. But overall, the CX-90 does a good job for smoothing out bumps, especially on the highways. It is also very quiet inside, with less noise from the road and the wind. The engine runs quietly too, unless you press the gas pedal really hard. Inside the car, there is a good mix of style and usefulness. The buttons are easily to find and use and the feels inside the roomy. The seats can be arranged in the different ways, but some other cars have more specifications and space for the people in the back. It's smooth on most of the roads, but if you get the version with really big 21-inch wheels, you might feel some bumps more. On the highways through it says steadily but even on the big roads or smooth roads it could be perfect. When you are inside it's quiet. You won't hear the lot of noise from the road and the wind and the engine is also quiet. If you are wondering which version of CX-30 is best then we suggest you to have a more powerful 3.3 Turbo S model. It comes up with lots of cool features at its price and also shows a luxurious side of CX-90. If you don't drive so far and too far, one of the most models that can be used both gas and electricity might be a good choice, as it could save more money and over the time. Thanks for watching the video. If you really liked it, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel.